Good evening. Welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We're going to do uh, scraps to embellishments again this evening. A uh, really quick one. I almost got it put together before I went, oh, I'm supposed to be saving one of these so that uh, I can video it. And I almost forgot to, so I've already done part of it. This is the um, Scraps to Embellishment that will air, I think we do these on April the 6th. So I'm doing this a little bit in advance. And it's called, the um, theme for this week is Healing Power. So I had this cute little die cut of this little nurse, and I thought, eh, perfect. That's what we'll do. So I have already inked and put some things together because, I, like I said, I was just building these and totally forgot to keep one for... Um, for the video to do. So there's not a whole lot left to do. So I'm gonna ink what little bitty tiny bit is left and I'm gonna do the twist real quick and then we'll put this together. It's really pretty cute. The twist tonight comes from um, 1 Peter 3, 10 through 12. And it says, as the scripture says, whoever wants to enjoy life and wishes to see good times must keep from speaking evil and telling lies. They must turn away from evil and do good. They must strive for peace with all their heart. For God, for the Lord watches over the righteous and listens to their prayers, but he opposes the evil or those who do evil. So um, I think this, that Peter just gave us like the prescription for happiness here. And he says, this is the kind of living that gets God's attention. This is the kind of living that's, that he, he supports us. He hears our prayers, and, but he opposes those who do evil. So let's break it down and see what he says. First, he says, we got to watch what comes out of our mouth. I know I do. I had to deal with that today, as a matter of fact. Watch what, we, what comes out of our mouth. It should be good and it should be truthful. It should be kind and good and truthful. And then avoid things that God doesn't like. We know what those are. We have a built-in system. He puts that in us to know what he doesn't like. We know what sin is. We know what dabbling towards sin is. So our actions should be pure and they should be kind. And then he says we need to be a peacemaker. God doesn't like drummed-up drama. Life has enough problems, you know, at best, it has enough problems just because we live in a sinful world. But you, we've all known those people that they're just not happy unless there's some kind of drama going on. And I don't think that's what pleases God. I think Peter is saying we just need to be, we need to be peacemakers, not peace breakers. So just everything that we do should be so that there's peace among our families, among our co-workers among our in our church everywhere peace is everything that we have control of and you know that sounds like to me it sounds like pretty sound advice that this is what God likes to see in us and certainly worth a try so just some food for thought today all right so that this little dab was all that there was to ink now these, these, this is her little face, and it just slides right in under there. So let's just get a little bit of glue on that and make that happen. We'll just put a little glue right here on the... I left this sitting open a while ago, and I think I clogged up. I may have to find a pen to get unclogged. should have checked that. Let's see if just my little thingy here will do it. Let's see. Yes, there we go. So, get her little face in there. I thought these were pretty cute. Okay, so there's her little face. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do her little eyes and that kind of stuff before we get into um, everything else. Let's go ahead and um, let's draw her little eyelashes. I need my really fine little black pen. So she's got 
the dye does the embossing for her little eyelashes. So I'm just going to do those. Actually, I think this is brown, but that's good. Just drawing those in. And I'm going to give her two little dots for her nose. Her nose dots are way out there, and I didn't like them, so I put them closer together. And then um, I'm just going to use this little marker to give her a little pink smile. Okay. Now her eyes are these. They, they cut. They're part of the dye. So we're going to put her eyes on there. And there's actually a, an embossed indent right at the top of her eyes. And that's where I put the little white gel pen dot. So that has her little face pretty good. Oh, we need to give her some cheeks, just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit of cheeks. This is spun sugar, and I just am going to barely give her a little bit of cheeks right there. There we go. Okay. Now, I pretty much have her little dress and everything put together, so... Her little uniform, her little nurse's uniform, and I I inked all of the little white parts, her little pockets, her little collar, all of her white parts in um, Stormy, no, in, um, what did I do, oh, man? Hickory Smoke. And then I did her face and arms and legs. I did all of those in um, Vintage Photo. So let's put just a little bit of glue right here on her hair because that's where we're actually going to put this little nurse's uniform. Just slide it right in under there, hopefully. Now, this little arm is teensy tiny, and not much of it shows, but it's what is the gap between the little thermometer and, uh, and her uniform. So let's see if I can just barely touch that and then get it on that little arm. Some of these pieces are tiny, tiny, and they don't give you any extra to work with. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get this little arm on here. On the other side. And then, oh, what did I do? I've lost a shoe. I've thrown a shoe. Oh, and if it went to the floor, you know I'll never find it. There it is. That was a stroke of luck. My floor just, like, eats things. And my dogs eat things. My dogs are paper hounds. Do your, like, I know Shannon Keith has a cat that eats her daubers or ink daubers and all that. My dogs eat my paper. They, I mean, if there is paper that they can get to, especially the trash can, they will just consume it. 
It must be like chocolate to them. And they kind of prefer some colors to others. So here are her little shoes. These little shoes were two pieces, the little blue sole and then the white shoe. Like I said, I was just assembling stuff when all of a sudden I went, oh, I was supposed to save one of these to video, but oh well. So just where that barely tucks there. And then we will glue them to her. Let's see, we better just put the glue right on the top of them. Like I said, there's not much extra. So we're gonna put that right there. Give it just a minute to catch. I didn't um, ink her little hand. This is her little hand that goes there on the thermometer. And I didn't ink it, so I need to do that quickly. And then I'm going to draw in her little fingers just a tiny bit so that we can see them. A little bit better. Okay. Now, oh, let's go ahead and put her little hat on. That's easy. Getting this part done isn't quite as easy. Get her little nurse's hat on. I actually remember when they wore these. They don't anymore, but I remember as a little girl and each nurse's graduating class, you know, the class they graduated in, chose their hat. So that's why some of them were a little bit different. But nobody wears a white uniform or a one of these cap hat things anymore. Okay, so now we put her little thermometer on her arm like this. And let's see if we can get, I'm going to glue this bottom part and then we'll figure out the top part. Okay, get that little thermometer kind of where we want it to go. It's so like I said, that little part of her arm doesn't show very much. Okay, and then I'll come in and glue that down. And then her little hand just goes up there holding the thermometer. Probably better get my tweezers for this. Whoa, come back here. Had my tweezers and still dropped it. So her little hand is just holding the thermometer. Like that. Anyway, I think she's cute. Let's get just a touch of glue right Get my head in your way, right there to hold that little thermometer. Okay, there she is, cute as a button. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do. In the description below will be the links for everybody that's doing this hop. You can just watch one right after the other. Uh, if you haven't ever checked out Ginger's Corner over on Facebook, you need to check it out either to play along or just to watch and see what other people are making and get ideas. There are layouts, there are games, there are weekly swaps. If you want to participate in these or just watch our videos, there's a big monthly swap, there's a faith swap, there's all kinds of stuff. So just check that out if you haven't already. And I hope you have a blessed day and be a blessing to someone else.